circumstances. Brittany will soon be back in the arms of her loved ones, and, uh, and she should have been there all along. And now I'd like to uh, uh, invite Sherelle to say a few words to all. Of course, she's not excited at all about this. Sherelle, it's all yours, kiddo. Congratulations Thank again. You. Thank you. So over the last nine months, you all have been um, so privy to one of the darkest moments of my life. And so today I'm just standing here um, overwhelmed with emotions, but the most important emotion that I have right now is just sincere gratitude um, for President Biden and his entire administration. Um, he just mentioned this work is not easy and it has not been. There's been so many hands involved. And so I'd like to take a moment to just specifically mention a few. Uh, Vice President Harris, Secretary Blinken, Jake Sullivan, Joss Geltzer from the National Security Council, Roger Cartson and Fletcher Schoen from the Hostage Envoys Office. Um, a special thank you to Governor Richardson and Mickey, um, the Mercury Players, the WNB, PA for your advocacy. And also, um, you guys may not know this, but um, my family has been tremendously supported by the Washington um, agency, BG's agent, um, Lindsay Colas. It's just been amazing for me and my family throughout this process. So um, today my family is whole, but as you all are aware, there's so many other families who are not whole. And so BG's not here to say this, but I will gladly speak on her behalf and say that BG and I will remain committed to the work of getting every American home, including Paul, who family is in our hearts today as we celebrate BG being home. We do understand that there are still people out here who are enduring what I endured the last nine months of missing tremendously their loved ones. So thank you everybody for your support. Um, and today it's just a happy day for me and my family. So um, I'm going to smile right now. <laughs> um, thank you.